guys, what's up? It's Megan Nicole. You guys asked me your questions, and now here are some answers for you guys. T -lo -l. T -lo -lo -e. T -l -o -e -w. <laughs> says, hey, I love Summer Forever. Thank you. It's a really great song. Now I'd love to ask a question. Have you ever gotten stage fright? Well, let's put it this way. <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, my dad encouraged me to try it for the school talent show, and I was so scared at the audition that I cried and I left. <laughs> but the music teacher is really nice and very kind enough to let me come back the next day and audition again. Also a little fun fact, I play uh, piano and I used to play at my church but I was too afraid to even get in front of people and play piano even. I would literally go to practice and play with the band and play keyboards and then leave before church would start because I was too scared to play in front of anyone. Minecraft 3. Minecraft 3. No, it doesn't have a name. Minecraft 3. How do you get inspired to write songs? Um, I just pull my inspiration just from um, personal life situations that I've been through and situations that my friends have been through and just uh, life in general. Tyler25, that's Tyler with an A, ask, Hi Megan, I have always wanted to be a singer and dancer, but I don't know where to start. Well, I started off with singing on a karaoke machine. <laughs> Sounds really silly, but um, that's kind of how I got practice. Um, would just mess around on the karaoke machine. As far as dancing, um, there's actually, you know, the good thing about the internet, I will say a positive thing about it, is there are a lot of tutorials on the internet. So you can find some fun tutorials with parents' permission <laughs> on the interweb. And um, yeah. And maybe see about getting involved like in your school, um, whether it's choir or a dance class of some sort. I love this username. Momo Goody asks, who's your favorite singer? Mine is Bruno Mars. I love, love, love Bruno Mars. And this is a tough question um, for me to answer because I have so many favorite singers. Um, some of them include some um, artists prior to this generation like Queen and Stevie Wonder and Earth, Wind, and Fire. I also love Maroon 5. Adam Levine has a really cool, unique sound. Um, Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, the list goes on and on. And actually, Bruno Mars is one of my favorites as well. He's just got so much soul um, when he sings. And um, he's even like one of the best singers of our generation, I would say. So, really, really talented. Irars asks, what was it like the first time you sang in front of an audience? You know, I wish I could go like back to that moment because I was like in fourth grade. I can't. I think it was just kind of like such an adrenaline rush, and just going on stage and I sang my little "Somewhere Over the Rainbow," and then I went off stage and I think it was a, a lot, a lot of fun. I think I pretty much just focused like on my like friends and family while I was singing it um, and just kind of got through it. But I don't know. Like I think there was definitely like a a moment in that performance. Um, whenever I just started to feel like really, really comfortable on stage and was just like, this is what I want to do. And now I get to do it thanks to all of you guys and your amazing, amazing support. And it's really awesome to get the opportunity to do what I love each and every day. And this is like totally relevant to the question, but do what you love, you know? I mean, of course, right now you don't have to know what you're going to do for the rest of your life. I was lucky enough to find out when I was around 15 to figure out what I wanted to do, but you don't have to have your life figured out by then. Like, still enjoy life and enjoy being young. Don't try to grow up too fast, but make sure at the end of the day that you find out what you love and that you do what you love. BL underscore Leah. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that correctly. Oh my gosh, I love this question. Okay, if you were an ice cream, what flavor would you be? Oh my gosh, well, I have a very um, colorful personality. So I think it would be something that's uh, multicolored. Some kind of rainbow something of some sort with sprinkles. I love sprinkles. And I love glitter. So I feel like sprinkles are the glitter for ice cream. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But I love chocolate too, so it's like I'm torn here because I'm obsessed with chocolate. But would I be a chocolate ice cream? I don't know. <laughs> Coco CC asks, what was your favorite part about recording Summer Forever? The really cool thing about Summer Forever is that my sister and one of my best friends from Texas actually got to be in the video. And then the rest of the cast was just like super chill and like so much fun to hang out with. and. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain much. Uh, we got to hang out at the beach and have a water gun fight, which I haven't done like in years, which was so much fun. But probably my favorite part actually was the beach. We were having a blast and just like dunking each other in the ocean in our fully clothed <laughs> outfits. 
<laughs> I think we like kind of went in with the idea that we were just gonna splash a little and not get our clothes so wet because I had to do my performance shots later. And yeah, that kind of ended up not working out. We just all were like soaking wet by the end of it, but it was just so much fun. Party Dina asks, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly, it's either Party Dina, Party Dana, Party? Party. Party. <laughs> She said, what was your favorite part about summer? Honestly, where did summer go? Like, it's crazy. I just had my birthday recently and it's September and we're all back in school. And summer is over even though I want it to be forever. <laughs> my favorite part about summer, actually I got to do my first two ever headline shows which was really awesome and really scary at the same time. But um, yeah, in San Francisco and Los Angeles had my first two headlining shows ever. And it was just so much fun, and it was really fun getting a chance to meet with some of my fans and say hello to them and give them a hug and take a picture and um, share some new original music with them. Esme Fun asks, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I really enjoy shopping. <laughs> I love shopping. I uh, love going to the movies, and I also really enjoy reading. That sounds really nerdy. Um, that's something new to me because I'm not gonna lie. In school, um, every time they would assign books to us, I I don't think I usually finished the books. <laughs> I wasn't very good about reading. I didn't really enjoy it. But um, this year, um, at New Year's, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a resolution to watch less TV and when I have some free time to read. And I actually stuck to it, and I've read a lot of books this year. I really enjoy it. I was like, I've been missing out this whole time. So, you know, I think if you just find a book that you can connect to and enjoy, then reading is really fun, and I like it. And, yeah, you can call me a nerd, but it's okay. <laughs> I like reading. I also, I like to eat food. I like food. Food's good. Free14 asks, what helps you get through it? I get bullied all the time and start believing them until I ran across beautiful on the web. Thank you. Something that really helped me get me through is, and something that has helped me get through today, is I never find my self-worth in what others say about me. For me personally, I find my self-worth in what um, Christ says about me. And um, I have my family and friends who are supportive and love me. And you know, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I honestly could care less about being popular or like, famous or whatever it may be. I'm just doing what I love and I'm very, very blessed to be able to do that. And, you know, I'm reading this question like really just breaks my heart because it's it's not fair to have to get to go through that. And um, you know, something that also helped me was just finding that escape in school. For me, it was choir. Choir was an escape for me. I love singing and it was time for me to be with my friends and um, that's what I use. So you just find what you love to do, whether it's art, band, choir, even just like a home ec class or whatever it may be. Like find those ex or sports. Me, it was never sports. I tried sports, but I wasn't any good at sports. Um, just find those escapes during school. Just remember that you are wonderful and you are awesome and that you have my love and support and you have your family and your friends and that's all that matters.